Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to our technical English lesson. This is our fourth revision lesson, and our topic today is writing a letter of complaint. In this lesson, we are going to revise and practice writing a letter of complaint about a faulty product. First, let's take a look at some words to remember. If you buy an item and you find out that it is faulty, that is, it is not working properly or not made correctly, you may write a letter of complaint. That is a statement in which someone complains about something. To complain means to say that you are annoyed, not satisfied or unhappy about something. And you will request for an action to be taken. That is to ask for something in a polite or formal way. The action could be to repair the item, that is to fix something that is damaged, broken or not working properly or to replace the item that is to get a new item in place of a damaged one or you could even ask for a refund that is to give someone his money back especially because he is not satisfied with goods or services he has now let's go to our first task Read the letter of complaint Hamad wrote to complain about a faulty laptop he bought. Then answer the questions. This is the letter of complaint Hamad wrote. You are going to read the letter and answer the questions. Let's read the questions together. Number one, how many addresses are in the letter? Number two, which four things are included in the body of the letter? And number three, how does Hamid sign off? Now, pause the video, read the letter, and answer the questions. Okay, now let's check our answers. Number one, how many addresses are in the letter? There are two addresses. Address number one is Hamad's address. That is the sender's address. Address number two is the sales manager's address. That is the recipient's address. That is the address of the person the letter is written to. Now, number two. Which four things are included in the body of the letter? Number one, I am writing to complain about a laptop I bought from a company on the 3rd of May 2018 for 3,000 Qatari Rials. Now, this is the purpose of the letter. And next, Unfortunately, I have discovered that the laptop is faulty. The battery goes down quickly. It lasts only 45 minutes. Also, I found out that some of the keys are not working properly. This is the description of the problem, the description of the fault. And then we have, I am requesting you to carry out the necessary repairs to restore the laptop to the condition it should be in. This is what Hamad wants. This is the action Hamad wants taken. So this is request for action. And finally, I look forward to hearing from you soon. And this is closing. Now, now, the third question is, how does Hamad sign off? He signed off using yours sincerely. Now, let's extract the layout 
of the letter of complaint. First is your address, the address of the sender. Two, the date. You should leave one line gap between the address of the sender and the date. And then the recipient's address. And then we have the greeting followed by the body and the body in the body we have purpose of writing description of the problem request for action and closing and the items are organized in paragraphs then we have the signing off and finally the name the signature and name now Let's use the layout to write our own letter. Remember, we have seven items to include in the letter of complaint. Number one, the sender's address. Number two, the date. Number three, recipient's address. Number four, greeting. Number five, the body, number six, signing off, and finally, number seven, the signature and name. So now let's begin. The address, that is the sender's address. The second one, the date. Number three, recipient's address. Number four, greeting. Dear Mr. Khalid Ahmed. So the recipient is Mr. Khalid Ahmed. Now the body. In the body, we start with the purpose of writing. I am writing to complain about a laptop I ordered from your online store last month. Order number 00165. Now, the description of the problem. The laptop was delivered only yesterday. When I opened the box, the adapter was missing. The surface of the laptop was scratched and the edge was cracked. This is very poor service. And now, what you would want to happen? I request that the faulty laptop be replaced with a good one as soon as possible. Closing. I look forward to hearing from you soon. And then, let's sign up. Yours sincerely. And number seven, which is the final item, is signature and name. Now, let's round up the lesson with some tips. Always organize your letter into paragraphs. Begin with dear sir or madam and sign off with your faithfully if you don't know the name of the person you are writing to. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching and hope you will be with me in our next lesson. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.